healthyoges.com. Vital information for a healthier life. Welcome to this video on lipid profile test. In this video, we are going to see what are lipids, what is a cholesterol test, why you need the cholesterol test, detail about the lipid profile test, a flaw in the cholesterol test, how to use the lipid profile test to assess cardiovascular health, how to prepare for the cholesterol test, how is the cholesterol test performed, what does the test result means to you, can cholesterol test give you the wrong result. Before going into this video, I request you to please subscribe to this channel by clicking the red subscribe button once and pressing the bell button next to the subscribe button. What are lipids? Lipids are fats and fat soluble substances and they are essential constituents of cells and energy sources. Two essential lipids are cholesterol and triglycerides which are carried into the blood by lipoprotein particles. Every lipoprotein particles contains a combination of cholesterol, triglyceride, protein and phospholipid molecules. What is a cholesterol test? Other names of cholesterol tests are lipid profile test, lipid panel test, lipoprotein profile test and lipoprotein panel test. A lipid profile test is a useful screening tool to diagnose abnormal high cholesterol. But you should combine it with an advanced lipid testing for an accurate picture of total health. A lipid panel measures lipoprotein particles that are classified based on their density. They are high density lipoproteins HDL, low density lipoproteins LDL and very low density lipoproteins VLDL. A lipid profile test measures total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol and triglycerides. The test results are in milligram per DL or millimoles per liter. This test estimates total cholesterol, triglyceride and HDL using ultra centrifugation or chemical precipitation. Why you need a cholesterol test? Cholesterol produced by the liver is carried into the blood to deliver it to all the body cells. High level of cholesterol in the blood indicates the following. Inflammation in the body, low thyroid function, eating high carb diet, raised triglyceride levels, weak digestion, leaky gut, allergy, ulcer, infection, etc., liver problems, kidney disease. If your cholesterol levels are high, then you need to analyze your lifestyle for high or improperly managed stress, inadequate or excess restless sleep, unhealthy diet, etc. These are the things that promote inflammation that leads to high cholesterol. If these are not the cause of the high cholesterol, then you need to undergo a set of tests for the functions of thyroid, liver and kidney. To know how much cholesterol in your body, you need to undergo a cholesterol test. Details about the lipid profile test. This cholesterol test provides information about total cholesterol. It is the measure of sum of all cholesterol by breaking down lipoprotein particles. Low density lipoprotein cholesterol. It is the calculated or measured cholesterol level in LDL particles. Mostly the LDL cholesterol is calculated from the results of the total cholesterol, HDL cholesterol and triglycerides. High density lipoprotein cholesterol, HDLC. It is a measure of the cholesterol in the HDL particle. HDLC carries excess cholesterol and delivers it to the liver for removal. Triglycerides, the most common form of fat in the blood. It measures the triglycerides in all the lipoprotein particles. Most of the triglycerides are in the very low density lipoprotein, VLDL. Other information reported in the lipid panel are parameters calculated from the results of the test listed above. Total cholesterol. Total cholesterol is the sum of cholesterol in all the lipoprotein particles, VLDL, LDL and HDL. Total cholesterol TC is equal to LDLC plus HDLC plus VLDLC. High density lipoprotein cholesterol. HDLC. Labs measure HDL cholesterol by separating HDL lipoproteins from other lipoprotein fractions and measures the cholesterol in the HDL particles. Low density lipoprotein cholesterol. LDLC. Most labs estimate the concentration of low density lipoprotein cholesterol using Fredwold formula. LDLC is equal to TC minus HDLC minus 
triglyceride divided by 5. This formula is based on the typical composition of VLDL. This formula is useful only if the triglyceride is within 100 to 400 mg per dl or 1.129 to 4.516 millimoles per liter. Otherwise, it will give the wrong LDL cholesterol number. A clinical study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology found this method for calculating LDL cholesterol levels may often produce inaccurate results. This indirect LDL cholesterol estimation is unreliable when the triglyceride levels are high or low. Reference the impact of low serum triglyceride on LDL cholesterol estimation published in R. Iranian Medicine 2008. If your triglyceride is below 100 mg per dl or 1.129 millimoles per liter, then you can use this formula LDLC mg per dl is equal to total cholesterol Tc divided by 1.19 plus triglyceride Tg divided by 1.9 minus high density lipoprotein HDL divided by 1.1 minus 38 or LDL cholesterol in millimoles per liter is equal to total cholesterol Tc divided by 1.19 plus triglyceride Tg divided by 0.81 minus high density lipoprotein HDL divided by 1.1 minus 0.98 very low density lipoprotein cholesterol VLDLC calculation of VLDLC is from triglyceride divided by 5 this formula is based on the typical composition of VLDL particle VLDLC is equal to triglyceride Tg divided by 5 non high density lipoprotein non hdlc some labs provide non hdl cholesterol calculated from total cholesterol minus hdlc a flaw in the cholesterol test there is a problem with the cholesterol test it measures just cholesterol in the lipoprotein this test does not provide the size or number of particles various studies confirms that small ldls and large hdls have the cardiovascular risk additionally High LDL particles and low HDL particle numbers are risk towards heart disease. But lipoprotein particle number and size measurement tests are costlier compared with the traditional test. Additionally, it is not available everywhere. So, alternatively, we can utilize the lipid profile test to assess the particle number and size. How to use the lipid profile test to assess cardiovascular health? LDL has closely associated with heart disease. But there are two LDL variants. One is large, buoyant, not associated with heart disease and another small, dense, associated with heart disease. If there is no access to LDL particle measurement, the next best markers are triglycerides and HDL. High levels of triglycerides indicate the presence of small LDL particle, insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. Certain HDL and triglyceride level indicates the presence of dangerous LDL B particles. They are high triglyceride levels that is over 120 mg per dl or 1.35 millimoles per liter. HDL levels of below normal that is 40 mg per dl or 1.03 millimoles per liter in men and 50 millimoles per dl or 1.29 millimoles per liter in women. A low level of triglycerides indicates the presence of harmless LDL A particle. Usually, the elevated triglyceride is a result of high VLDL. Lowering triglyceride levels can proportionally convert from small dense LDL into large fluffy molecules. Triglyceride to HDL Tg HDL ratio. The study shows Triglyceride HDL cholesterol ratio of over 3.8 increases the chance of phenotype B. The triglyceride HDLC ratio is a better prediction of LDL phenotype B. Reference American Journal of Cardiology, Volume 94, Issue 2, 15th July 2004. The triglyceride HDL cholesterol ratio is useless for African Americans. They do not have high triglycerides even with severe insulin resistance because they own a different lipase type enzyme to metabolize the triglyceride expression. 
their insulin resistance should assess by glucose abnormalities obesity and hypertension it is not by high triglycerides and or low hdl cholesterol ldl particle assessment from lipid profile test patients with triglycerides over 130 mg per dl or 1.47 millimoles per liter indicates high apo b particles ldl count triglyceride hdl c ratio is just predicting the ldl size not particle concentration ldl p but most patients with small ldls have increased number of ldls reference diabetes care 20 not 5 non hdl cholesterol non hdl cholesterol is a better marker of cardiovascular risk than ldl c non hdl c is a better way to correlate with the ldl particle number also it is immediately available from the lipid profile test total cholesterol minus hdl cholesterol gives non hdl cholesterol that is non hdl c is equal to tc minus hdl c non hdl c and apo b are the best predictor of coronary heart disease than the cholesterol it carries reference circulation 20 not 5 how to prepare for cholesterol test to undergo a complete lipid profile you need to avoid eating or drinking anything except water and medications for a minimum of 9 hours ideally 12 hours and maximum of 15 hours before a cholesterol test however if you are taking only hdl and total cholesterol levels then you may not require fasting how is the cholesterol test performed your doctor requires to take a blood sample from you in the morning after fasting it is an outpatient procedure performed at a diagnostic lab it takes few minutes with relatively no pain what does the test results means to you if your cholesterol numbers are in an abnormal range then you may be at a higher risk of heart disease stroke and atherosclerosis if your cholesterol test results are higher than normal then your doctor may order thyroid function test to know whether your thyroid is underactive can cholesterol tests give the wrong result clinical factors that may cause lipid test error results include but are not limited to the following illness such as severe infection or myocardial infraction improper fasting interference from the medication such as oral contraceptives or corticosteroids human test errors pregnancy or phase of the menstrual cycle also other factors such as alcohol smoking posture exercise and prolonged turnover use may produce an error in the result of false positive or negative that's all from today's episode hope i have explained the cholesterol test that is lipid profile test to your satisfaction my humble request to all please like and share this video as much as possible it motivates me to make more useful videos for you please press the thumbs up button also share it with your friends i request you to share your thoughts and questions as a comment i will read every comment and answer your questions or take your suggestions if you want more video from me please subscribe to this channel by clicking the red subscribe button once and pressing the bell button next to the subscribe button thank you for watching this video and i will meet you soon with another informative video until then goodbye